There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Mm -hmm. Walleye. Another. Oop, come here. Nice little walleye there, huh? Perfect little eater. It's early ice. One of the great times to take advantage of a great walleye bite. As everybody knows, it can get tougher in, in midwinter. Like most people, I grew up using a flasher and I've been really accustomed to that. And when Humminbird introduced the Helix series for ice fishing, I'm not gonna lie, I, I really fought that technology, especially for sonar usage. I thought, yeah, it's got, you know, the map, that's a big deal, but when they first came out, there was just a slight lag and what you were seeing on the screen is compared to a flasher. Now that has changed dramatically. These things have blistering speed at this point in time. So I have the same speed as a flasher. I've got a flasher screen I can look at on here. I also have traditional 2D sonar that I can look at on here. I've got zoom mode. So I really have the best of everything you can ask for in terms of sonar technology. But a big thing with LCD technology, these bigger screens is the mapping, the navigation that you get with these units. So as you can see right now, we're out on early ice in somewhat treacherous conditions. And this unit is extremely valuable for these situations, especially for safety. Now, before we even set foot on the ice, I had this unit powered up and I'm recording a trail. And everywhere I'm going out here, I'm carrying the fish finder with me. So I've got a trail to know where I can safely walk. I'm checking the ice with a spud, and with an auger to know that we're in, we're in good shape. So if we're out in this, this kind of stuff and it starts to get dark, on the way back in, I'm able to zoom in and follow the exact same trail that I walked out on. So you've got that safety element with it. So having not having to carry an additional GPS and a flasher with you, this is all in one package. It's tight, it just works perfect. So for me, if you're looking at purchasing a sonar unit, look at something that has both sonar and GPS built in for navigation, for mapping, and then of course all the sonar technology you would need.